But all I want to do in this video is basically take, if you're not using your Facebook account, how you can improve it and how I've improved ours, because my argument is that I'm a step ahead of you. Okay, and that's it. It's just one baby step and just a couple of tints and tips and tricks for it. Okay, I look at this and any Facebook account is that you're trying to play their algorithm. Okay, any algorithm will only be worked out if you post regularly. And so it's that one. It's posting regularly is the main bit. And they want to drive you to try and push out content and push out content on a regular basis. No doubt if you're watching this, I hopefully you've got a business page of, on Facebook and you know I'll take you across to my one. I am now um, an administrator, so I've got full access and full rights to this. Batching is how we're gonna win this battle, okay? So planner is the main, main one here. And I will often spend not that long, 20 minutes, half an hour. And what you'll see is, so I'm gonna just take this last week, for example. So what I'll do is I will lay out on that Sunday evening, five posts, so that regardless what happens, I know that we've got five posts that will drop on the Facebook account, okay? I'm playing with what time to drop them, okay? So at the moment, I've set it at anywhere between eight and nine o'clock, thinking that that was the main bit, but, looking at some of the YouTube analytics, I think maybe then that's perhaps not the right way to go. But anyway, I'm playing with that, I'll let you know. Where I get the ideas from is uh, an interesting way, and it's one that I'm sort of using this to show that I'm listening to the staff, okay? So that's the first one. Just listen to your staff, especially the receptionists. Then using this as putting a post on Facebook, in my mind, works for two, two areas. One, it shows that you're listening to them and that you're working together as a team. And two, hopefully, hopefully, it'll try and make their lives easier. So it's a double win in my mind. And that's where this post came from, okay? So this one is talking about we had loads and loads of staff uh, asking for the COVID booster, sorry, loads of patients asking for the COVID booster, and they would phone up, clogging up the lines, and there would be, in, when they got a queue going out the door for the receptionist, they were all asking for the COVID booster vaccination. Got limited stock, so we're going through it in, you know, in those who need it first order. And it's actually speaking to the uh, receptionist staff of saying, look, what do you want from this? So they said, well, look, either we can do it for them, but we need to contact them. So that was the first point. And then the second point being, you know, they can get it elsewhere. So in that post, I made sure that I included the government link so that when it was, uh, you know, when they're allowed to book their vaccination, that it was there for them, good to go. I also included a pretty picture. So I've used this week's really just as a couple of bits and pieces. So one listening to the staff and then I had we've had multiple people miss face-to-face -face appointments. So I put a bit about that. The next bit is that listen to what's happening in my clinic. Okay, so things that I'm picking up that I'm just like, or, oh, you know, what's going on? Okay, what's happening from that point of view? How can I sort of make things better? One thing that really hacked me off was just incorrect telephone numbers. So again, just a post on, look, if you've changed your phone number, please let us know. So that's the first part is sort of listening to what's happening in the practice and what's going from that way. The next part that I look at is if there are certain weeks of the year, Okay, and what I mean by that, so you get like Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you know, certain bits and pieces. Where are you in that calendar? And all I do is Google it. I sort of say like, you know, uh, UK Weeks Awareness, and I ended up finding a website that sort of showed, you know, weeks of the year and what was going on. Now, this actually came from, I think, my Twitter account. No, wrong, it was Facebook uh, group. Um, that showed that one of the GPs there was really big into selective mutism and she said actually October selective mutism month and I was like brilliant right I'll do a post on that so that inspired the Monday post okay and you can see here and she'd got a whole load of pin things on her uh, Twitter account so and she but you know it was she said on it like feel free to use and share so I was like right fair game to me um, so I will sort of use that and sort of, so I took that all from her Twitter feed um, and basically just added that as well, which was all from her Twitter account and used that. I was like, right, that is a brilliant post. That is an absolute, we'll make sure we use that. So that was another bit that bulked up. I also think that this, where health promotion for, in general is something that in 
doing in primary care as in physically in the building is not the correct place to do it. Just think about smoking cessation, exercise, healthy eating. So that is why simple ones, I put something about running. We're right near a lovely, lovely park called Preston Park, even though being in the northeast and nowhere near from the London variant, why don't you go for a run? That sort of just gentle nudging placed on Facebook just to see if it gains any traction and then put the link into the NHS uh, app Couch to 5K just as something like, well, if you're interested, just do it and then using it from that. So in terms of the types of posts, in terms of, I like to grade them in terms of how much impact they're gonna have and how engaged they're going to be with the audience, okay? And you'll see that a lot of them I will rarely put with just writing because that to me is the bottom tier, okay? So sort of your bronze post. Yes, it shows that you've got it. Um, yes, it shows that you're um, you're pushing something out, but I just find it boring. I wouldn't read it on Facebook, so I would I expect my patients to as well. So that's why I always put pretty pictures. But where do you get pretty pictures from? Okay, so lovely website. I'll leave a link below called Unsplash, unsplash.com to be exact. And these are free, high quality, high resolution pictures that will allow you to, that you can rob, um, and use for your own means, okay? And just search for it. So for example, if you look, I'll put COVID vaccination in. Now be careful because you've got the iStock photos at the top, um, which will cost you, okay? But then you suddenly get down here and, oh, I wonder where that came from, okay? So you can see here, and all of these are just free to download. So you click on them, hit download free, and then that's it, just upload them. I have a separate folder on my desktop that I just have like, you know, Facebook resources or Facebook pictures, something like that. So when I'm generating the Facebook posts, um, I can then just get add picture, and then that's that sorted, okay? So that's what I use to make it pretty. So you've gone from what I call the bronze level of just words to then, um, you know, silver level of with a pretty picture that sort of explains the point. I'm going to do a separate video then on gold um, because, you know, I think that is probably worth a video all in itself because actually doing videos and videos for your channels is probably what we should be aiming towards. But I appreciate there's a lot of reluctance, a lot of hesitancy. People don't know how to do it. But I think actually there's a lot of things out there that you can do to sort of help. And I think it's a great thing to do. And I'm just starting to build onto that in our own channel. A okay. big thing I'm going to talk about is how to deal with negative comments, okay? And that's where I think people's main reluctance is, is what happens if they get a negative comment. And the trick that I used to, I like to use is called the ABC approach, okay? So it's acknowledge, bridge, and comment. For a start, before you even go to that, you need to calm down, okay? Just take the emotion out of it. You've got to be professional about it. And you've got to think to yourself, do they have a point? Okay, do they have a point? Sometimes they just want to hate and just be, you know, absolutely ridiculous about it, and that's fine. And I want to ha highlight two um, negative comments that we got. So we, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have done, uh, did a flu vaccination clinic on a Saturday morning. So due diligence, took some pictures on the day, you know, picture of me with a flu vaccination bowl, posted it up there and said like, yep, yeah, right, you know, this is us, we're doing flu vaccinations, aren't we great? Okay, happy. And we got some negative comments from it. I was like, okay. And we got one commenting about, and because as you would expect, there was a bit of a queue, we hadn't quite got our system set up effectively. There was a long queue out the back, out the front door, and um, we got this negative comment saying, how dare you make elderly people stand and wait for hours upon end, blah, 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 how dare you. I had not raised this with the practice itself. We had had no complaints on the day, apart from just this person putting it on social media. And I'm like, you know what, fine. Okay, I'm gonna try and my best. First point, take your emotion out of it. Okay. So, acknowledge, did she have a good point? Begrudgingly, yes, there was a wait. So the response went, fair point. Yes, we did have a long queue. Okay. Bridge. But for those that we felt were, or for patients who we felt were unable to stand, we did offer, and then here comes your comment, 
we did offer either uh, car appointments at the end of the clinic, which we did do, okay? And also they can get, you know, a normal appointment if needs be. And so you're using that comment to hammer home what's good, okay? And what your key point and what, and what you as either you're putting the post out or you as the practice are trying to push, okay? So for that post in time, what I'm trying to push out is that, yes, we thought about those who are frail, okay, and those who are elderly that they can't stand and that there are alternatives that we had already offered, okay? Um, and, you know, so, but you're acknowledging their point, you're bridging across to make it about your point and that you are correct, for want of a better description, okay? And this is a basic sort of media piece that you'll see that politicians do it all the time, that they've got their own little hidden agenda, you know, that they'll try and sort of, you know, when they're being grilled by reporters, they'll semi-acknowledge the question, bridge it across to whatever key point they're doing it. You know what? Works for them. Do it for you as well. We had another one, which was, again, on the flu vaccination day. So, you know, he complained that we had churned up the local area because there were quite, there was a lot of people um, put into such a small area because we're in the sort of the centre of a suburban area, basically. Again, first point, take the emotion out of it, be professional. For a start, acknowledge. So that's the first point. Fair point, sir. Yes, we did, you know, we appreciate that there are um, a lot of class about. We did ask people not to use our car park because it's such a small space that there was a risk of car accident. Bridge, I would like to highlight though that we managed to vaccinate X number of people on that day and it only took us two hours. So any inconvenience that was uh, met was only for a short period of time. Now, admittedly, that last bit, I wish I put on the actual Facebook response. Um, but it's one of those. Having, so EGP Learning has got some excellent videos on this and I'm slowly going through them, but I just thought I'd do that as a gentle introduction to where I'm at at the moment. Um, I'll probably later on doing some how I shoot videos for our practice. Uh, if you will find that interesting, please comment below. I hope you found that useful. Just, it's something that I'm pushing to try and build that community because I think it is a great, great, avenue that isn't regularly explored and I hope by sharing this that actually gives you some ideas of how you can set up your own uh, Facebook business account and basically that how you're going to sort of utilize it to sort of build up your own uh, your own audience okay I've been Dr. Dave Highmarsh you have a great day